Hey guys, it's Leah and Molly here, and we're back again with a Q and A. Yes, switching it up. Switching it up. We're doing our end of season Q and A. <laughs> As per usual, I'm we home. Do yes, it's October fall break. So we're gonna answer some of your questions that you guys put in the comments from our previous video. Thank you so much for submitting them. Mm -hmm. We're excited to get started. <laughs> Marco Boat. Can you and Molly rank the five seasons that you have seen so far of The Walking Dead? <laughs> she just started laughing. They all play together. <laughs> like, do. I don't know when they start and end. Mm. This, but this latest season is my favorite. Yeah, I really like season five. I like, you know that I love a little bit of character design, <laughs> and, like, world building. That's like my favorite. It's so, it's so good. Um, and the first episode, oh, I can't speak. The first episode. Oh no. The first episode of season five is my favorite episode, No Sanctuary. Um, so I would probably say I really like season five. I like season three with the governor. That's just iconic. Yeah, season one I really liked too. Season one was good. I like... Uh, season two was kind of boring. Season two is a little boring, but I still like it. And then season four, so, I don't know. I guess if we were to rank it, yeah. season five, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. one, one, four, two. Yeah, probably. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be ours. What is Molly's favorite character? Dale. Oh, yeah. Dale knows. Pushed out a hero. So you upset. I know what kind of man you are. He is literally the best savage ever. <laughs> <laughs> From Always Ashley. Okay, one that is alive. He's no alive favorite. in my heart. Favorite character? Glenn, probably. Yeah, I love a good Glenn. Love a good Glenn. Love a good Glenn. Um, Leah, when are you going to be reacting to season 10? I'm sorry guys, it's so delayed. Me and my dad gotta get on that, but I've been so busy with school and stuff. She's too busy for you guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I just have so much work to do. It's like midterms and I'm stressed Oh my god, out. I had my midterm exam on Friday and I literally bombed it. I was like, I think this is right. Maggie Reed, The Walking Dead Queen says, have you heard of the new spinoff? If you have, then what are your thoughts on the news of it? There's a new spinoff? Is there a new spin? I mean, we know Fear the Walking Dead, but that's old. Are you talking about the Rick movie that's coming out? Like, I don't know. Am I uneducated about this? What is this even called, though? I don't know. If you guys could tell oh. us in the comments. What? Okay, so it's a unique coming of age story with a quest element that is rooted in the Walking Dead world. So it's like a coming of age story. Oh, oh so it's kids. Oh, that's weird. The next generation of survivors born out of the apocalypse, teens Whoa. and young adults. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's, I think the dynamics will be really good to work with, but I feel like they need a tiptoe because mm. it could very, very quickly turn into um, like the Hunger Games yeah, kind of thing where nobody yeah. cares about anything but the love triangle. And like, cause uh, yeah, I'm not usually a fan of coming of age story, but I love coming of age you age love it. I don't know. It's it's up for people like if they like it or not. So I don't know. Okay, from Anna Marisa Zira. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me, let me do it. <laughs> Anna Maziria. Okay. I read, read, it. It, read it. Does Rick remind you y'all um of Shade in this season a bit? Would like to hear your thoughts on it. <laughs> what do you think? Um. Yes. There was something he said that was like yes. almost a direct quote from Shane. I know, and I totally forgot yeah, about but it. But it was like he said something that it was like almost something that Shane said to a T. And yes. I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy! Buddy! But I kind of love it. <laughs> yeah. I love Rick this season. He's crazy. The murder coat. The murder coat. I love Rick. He was really relating to you last episode. Yes. I screwed up. <laughs> No <laughs> shit! <laughs> what can I say? Me and Rick are yeah, kidding. Yeah. Oh, literally you! He's literally guys! Uh, I wonder why. Oh. 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 <laughs> you, you mean me? He's <laughs> having some problems, as you can see. Um, it's not going well. Yes, he was relating to me last episode. I mean, I love Rick. That's all we have to say about that. Nate Tex said, if you could bring back any character that has died. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Group of 
Gamers Inc. 194. Oh, said, I know who that is. Yes. Um, I'll be interested in hearing how you all feel about how people in our main group have been adjusting to the zombie apocalypse. I mean, they're adjusting pretty well. Yeah, they're kind of like imposing their ways. Right. Like, th if this boils down to it, like, if you were to take out all, like, the extra trauma and stuff, this is straight up just, like, <laughs> adults fighting for power in, like, a PTO meeting. Like, that, like it's literally, it's just so, like, they're causing a lot of drama. They really are. They're kind of being bullies, to be honest. A little bit, but they they're are doing also it right. Like, yeah, yeah, they're not, like, they're, like, I don't know, it's weird. Also from Nate Tex, how has filming and editing your videos helped you with your studies? Um, not like my regular classes, but for like my film and editing classes, it's so much easier for me to like- Is it really? Yeah, because like most of the kids in that class have never even edited before. Oh. So- So you know what you're doing. Yeah, so it's super easy for me. And one class that I had, my teacher like loved me. I was like, this. Yeah. And she let me skip a class because I was so far ahead. And it was a three hour class. <laughs> Because I finished everything. Web app 31 said, Q&A, is Courtney caught up to you guys? If not, can you get her to film reaction? Courtney's so busy. And Courtney, you guys don't even know, her major is so busy. Yeah, let's, what she is doing right now for her major, she's an occupational therapy major, mm -hmm. and it's a doctorate program. Mm -hmm. So she's technically in grad school right now mm -hmm. for a doctorate, which is like so hard. And so much like, she, When she comes home from winter break, yeah. we will definitely film more with her then and she'll be all Yeah, her up, being home for winter break is the first time that she's been home. <laughs> in like a year. Yeah. 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 In, in a, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. She hasn't been home for a whole year. Yeah. Because yeah, she didn't come home at all over the summer. Yeah. Sad. Miss you, Courtney. Q&A from Dan's review. How do you guys think the friendship with Rick and Morgan will be in season six? Love you guys. Love you, Dan. Love you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Mom? Um, After that last scene we saw. Yo, like, I don't, I'm so, he might be really against it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it could go either way. We really don't know. But from what he's seen, seems now, he seems much different from when he was writing on the walls. You know, like, much more level-headed. So. Yeah. We'll have to see. Some of them more an ass. I'm a huge fan of D Daryl and Beth's relationship. Do you guys ship it? Beth? Mm-hmm. You mean the little 15 year old? <laughs> yeah. It's just, no. it's a little- She's still a minor, the age, age much I fucking us. hate that. Sorry, Samantha. But I do like their like friendship. Yeah. They had a really great a friendship. bond. Oh, this is a long question. Okay. Okay. Thelonious. Uh, question Q and A. Do you think Morgan is going to join the group? And if he does, how do you think his all life is precious thing will sit with others? Mm. Yeah, maybe I didn't really think about that. <laughs> so yeah, there might be some problems there. Mm. I think he'll join the group, but I think he's gonna be like, yo, what happened to you, Rick? Rick. And is your dad feeling better? <laughs> He's feeling much better. Um, yeah, you guys will see him soon in our Walking Dead vid. Is YouTube your real life job or do you do something else? No, no, <laughs> no. It's more like a, not a hobby, it's but a hobby. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a hobby for us, but uh, we, I take it very seriously. <laughs> I do. I care about the channel so yeah, much. Yeah, Leah's good with it. She um, like, well, you're in school, so you're not really working. Right. Yeah. I we both are in college, so we yeah. don't really have jobs. Yeah. Yet. I mean, I work up at school, but right. other than that. Oh, this. This is read it. Read no. It. No. Let's do the hate comments. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's do a hate comment section. This is hate comment section. doing anything other than watching the show that's cool just don't say it's a reaction i get more disappointed you can't even set your phones aside for 40 minutes of a show i thought you enjoyed listen we love the show like we were reacting we were so excited that episode like what is she, what is that person talking about yeah whatever um we went on our phone for like literally one minute are I think it's because I was on the iPad. I was like drawing stuff. Yeah, you, you, we were like on our phones for like I like to second. draw while I watch TV. That's what I do at home. Yeah. Someone said, <laughs> stop doing Walking Dead videos. You <laughs> two clearly aren't interested. What anymore. are they talking about? Yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> we, were, we were so excited. It doesn't make any sense. <gasps>
Morgan. I like this shot. <gasps> someone wants to know, this isn't a hate comment, someone just wants to know that there's subtitles because it makes it easier to read. Yeah, I totally I get that, but um, I had to change computers and now my software for recording the videos doesn't do, doesn't do subtitles and I'm super upset because I love subtitles and I watch, like, I watch everything with subtitles, so I'm yeah, so no. sorry about that. I'll try to bring the volume up on the video, but... Oh, someone? Ask the question. Is it Yvette? Oh yeah. Okay, Yvette, we love you. You comment on all our videos. Yvette. She goes, Molly's getting used to it because she didn't scream. <laughs> Someone came at me for having a short attention span and Leah liked the comment. <laughs> so now we have beef. No! It, it, they just explained how we don't watch <laughs> multiple episodes. You guys always ask why we don't film like a bunch of episodes. Mom, well, okay, okay. Sure. I do have a short attention span, but it used to be that it was me and Courtney could not sit for like hours and <laughs> no, just watch. No, you've gotten so much better. Like that was crazy. But me and Courtney couldn't do it, and so it used to be 2v1, <laughs> and we would like yell at Leah. Yeah, they would gang up on me and say, we're only doing one. Yeah. But now Courtney's gone. And so now it's like a fight. It's like a battle. <laughs> it's a battle. Because Courtney's not here. <laughs> so that's basically it. Thank you guys so so much for asking questions. Um, I love that. Yeah, I got the little flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to follow Molly's channel yeah. below. All the other things are Patreon too. We want to get your guys' letters and then maybe we'll make a P.O. Box video. That'll be fun. <laughs> um, and that's basically it. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.